Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another large cargo ship, and this one is called the Empocampia, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a extremely long and sleek ship, featuring a bunch of cargo containers, a very tiny interior to fly this thing around, and a fancy setup in the middle featuring two large hydrogen thrusters, to help you on the forwards and the backwards. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is, and there is the actual name itself. I'm probably saying that wrong, so there is the spelling. Anyway, this thing is 722 large blocks using the Frostbite Sparks of the Future, Decorative Block Number 1, and the Decorative Block Number 2 DLC packs. We can see everything about the ship right here. We can see its jump drives, the containers, and absolutely everything. So we'll give this a thumbs up, we'll move all the way around to the very front, have a quick look around the outside, then we'll test it out to see what that has to offer. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We got one giant wheel, which is the only feature on the front, barring this little camera, to help you view forwards. As we move around the side here, what we're going to see is a bunch of lovely red blocks and a bunch of silver blocks in the middle. Over to here, we've got a doorway to get in and out of the main cockpit with a yellow landing gear right below it. As we continue along, we're going to see some hydrogen thrusters to help us on our left, right, up and down. And as we continue along to the middle here, this is what's going to push us forwards and move us backwards. We've got two large hydrogen thrusters, which have been surrounded by some lovely steel blocks, as well as our neon tubes, some additional decoration, with an advertisement board right in the middle, showing us some Clang Cola. As we continue along to the very back here, we're not going to see too much else. Some more silver blocks, we've got some yellow blocks, and then even more thrusters that will eventually move all the way around to the very back, where we get a, another wheel. So there we are with that. And moving up and above just because, might as well. There's our steel blocks, there's our red blocks, scooting all the way along. We then come across to where our large hydrogen thrusters are sitting with a lovely yellow conveyor linking them together. As we move towards the front there, there is our bridge where we can peer inside. We've got another neon tube to light up the area. We can see our control seat to flight, our battery, as well as an air vent and two chairs. Moving towards the front there, we can see some jump drives hidden away inside there. And underneath is basically going to be the same where we can see our jump drives once again. There is a landing gear, there is a connector to connect this thing up and load and unload all your goods. There is the bottom of where our large hydrogen thrusters are sitting. Then all the way towards the back, there we go. So it's a very simplistic ship with a very unique design. I've never seen anything quite like this. And it is very nice with how it's been set up. So what I can do now is grab hold of my character. I want to come over to one of these side doors. So finding the door right here, we're going to plop ourselves down. There we go. We'll open it up. We do not have a double airlock, so it's not going to be a great idea to get out while we're in space. But this is what we get on the interior. So there is our yellow neon tube, there is our air vent, and there's our two chairs for your passengers to sit on, along with two batteries sitting right behind it. Moving all the way around to the very front like so, we've got an LCD screen showing us our speed and our mouse movements, as well as another battery, and that looks like the corner of a interior wall. So getting into the seat, this is what we get. First person view, looking around, this is all we get. Oh god, I left the door open there, that's why it's not any oxygen inside here. There we go, that's a lot better. But yes, this is the view we get. Fantastic view up and above, but all the way around, very, very limiting. So we are heavily reliant on our forward facing camera to get around. And this is the view we get. So there we are with that. It would probably be a good idea to get the setup to be able to control the mouse up, down, left and right. But I'm not too sure how you set that up. We'll just ignore it for the moment. But yes, as for the hot bar, number one is for our camera. Number two is for our connector underneath this ship. So we drop down and come and find it. It'll be right there. There it is. Number three is for our landing gear, which is sitting right in front of it. Number four is for our hydrogen tanks to stop power on and off. Number six is for our beacon on and off. And at number eight is for our jump drives where we can press it. And we can jump 4,000 kilometers thanks to our two jump drives. And we might as well go and do it right now. So here we go, six, five, four, three, two, one, engage. And there we go, we just jumped in our large cylinder ship. As for a quick thruster test, moving forwards, this is what we get. 
We've got a nice lot of speed thanks to that large hydrogen thruster and stopping is identical. Moving left and moving right we've got some fantastic speed with this. Moving down and then moving up again some fantastic speed. Wiggling my mouse around this is what we get. We are exceptionally slow moving this around to the point that you may want to add maybe one or two gyroscopes on here but for a very long ship it does sort of suit it. There we are now just turning my mouse all the way around to the left. We are dragging quite a lot in order to turn this around. Yes, that can easily be fixed by slapping on a few more gyroscopes by simply extending the vehicle out. But yes, as for that, that is basically it for what this ship has to offer. It's a very nice design, very sleek, very slim and can carry a nice lot of stuff inside it. So we've got three large ones, so there's the first cargo, second and the third one all the way down there. We also have a couple small ones on here, so we can carry a nice lot of stuff. So to finish off this video, what we can do now is come over to this asteroid right over here and we'll just simply slam ourselves into it. There it is right there, looking all bright. And we'll just go straight forwards into it and that'll be that for this video. And here we go, it is now right in front of us. Coming to a better view, hiding the HUD, we're now going to slam straight into it. So three, two, one, a little bit off, and there we go. It just sort of crumples into itself, and we can see one of the large cargo containers sitting up right there. How much did we lose? Not too much, not too much indeed. We still have enough hydrogen thrusters around the ship to fly this thing around, so we can simply slap on the brand new seat. Let's go with this. I'll be able to fly this thing around. So we're shoving it all the way up to here. Oh god, there we go. And now we can reverse it out and fly this thing once again. It's really helped with the control actually. It's become a lot more responsive. But anyway, that is it for this large cargo ship. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. And I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.